I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, our home and the driving force behind our thirst for exploration, literally and philosophically. Because we believe curiosity is the key to unlocking life. It's what pushes us outside our comfort zones, softens our assumptions, and helps us embrace the great unknown. And wow, are we really testing our philosophy. We're four days into a 10 day, 1300 nautical mile journey from the warm tropics of Tonga to the wild winter in New Zealand. The voyage kicked off with a literal bang. Holy crap, the lights on, what's going on? Oh my God! As Jason repaired a busted water pipe like a boss, hammered away at a seized clip on the mast, collected a bucket of chum, watched his dinghy slowly deflate, Definitely not happy. and tried to keep the lines together. That's our main hallier. Meanwhile, I taped up a crack in the forward window and blazed through the last season of Catastrophe, because misery likes company. Now, we've sailed into a reef in the middle of the ocean seeking some shallow water to drop our anchor while we lick our wounds and prepare for the next several days at sea. I am repairing the roof, repairing, patching, jury rigging the sheave from our main sheet because this main is halyard. Main, yeah, main halyard, thank you. Uh, that we busted the other day, so I am whipping it to kind of keep it attached and from bunching up, and that's kind of the best solution we can come up with. I mean, we taped it in the moment just to be able to get it through and get situated, which was very temporary, obviously, and this should hopefully be a bit more of a permanent patch and to, well just to get us to New Zealand then obviously we'll replace the line. Can't think of anything else better at the moment. I'm sure in the comment section if somebody's ever had this issue and you have a better solution I'd love to hear it but it's kind of in a bad spot so I can't just trim the line, can't flip the line. It's just in such a spot that it doesn't matter what we try to do there's no good spot to leave it so this is my solution. That's what I'm doing. Perhaps one water mystery solved? Yeah, I think the shower pump is leaking and we have the hatch above that leaking. So we're running it a lot. So not only when we shower, but whenever the, the shower fills up with the salt water from the spray. So this, this pump right here is bad and it's kind of exploding when it pumps the water out. So I'm gonna replace it. Which is good because that means we don't have some sort of weird crazy leak somewhere else yeah. because the bilge was Kind of full of water, yeah. Full. It's just dirty shower water. Could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Uh, could have been a hole in our boat. <gasps> the boat is sinking. Oh, terrible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good job, love. At least you found it. Yeah. Definitely happy to do this here at anchor versus out. Oh yeah. man, right? Definitely. Hello, what are you doing? Yeah, this thing he is sees. This is what I was working on the other day when I was trying to put the reef in, and now I'm gonna try and uncorrode it, unstuck it. I'm gonna unstuck, unstuck it. it. <laughs> All right, this is for customs. This is Minerva Reef, where we've anchored, and as you can see, there is no boats, there's no land, and it's definitely COVID-free here. It's just us. All right, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you about getting in the water right now? Negative five. <laughs> Should have done this earlier. <laughs> now it's all cloudy. It's been windy and choppy the whole time, so it probably really wouldn't matter. It's just cloudy now instead of having sun. Gotta clean the bottom before we go to New Zealand. Apparently they check and they tell you to show proof. So we're gonna prove it. Clean the bottom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that cold? It's really chilly. Okay, it's good. It's gonna be fine. It's doing really fine. Oh, good Jason.
last night was sleepless and a little intense. We had 40 knots of wind and rain and the wind came from every direction. We swung all the way around multiple times. It was nuts and absolute confirmation that coming here to ride that out was the, the right, right choice. choice. Even this morning, the water out here was such, just like a washing machine, so confused, coming, like just bobbling every direction. It, no consistency. It's smoothed out a little bit. So the, the worst of it has passed. <laughs> <laughs> and looking at the grip right now is, doesn't exactly inspire confidence, but the way that it's gonna work out is we should miss the worst of it, we'll ride the back side of it and just sneak right into New Zealand right before that next storm. That is the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. Hi guys, I'm so nervous. Got you. I got butterflies too. Okay. Tuna that we caught in Hapai. He was a really big one. That 
<laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of fresh stuff in the Bahu before we left, so we got cucumbers and limes. That's what came with us that was fresh food. So everything I'm working from is either frozen, dried, canned, so on and so forth. We are cruising along at about seven knots of speed. 15 or so knots of apparent wind, 15 knots of true wind. Kind of a 60 to 90, we're just getting knocked around. So it's not a perfect sailing angle just because we're getting knocked around. But we have to make six and a half knots average speed in order to get into New Zealand on Saturday because Sunday it looks like the weather gets worse and worse and worse. Woo! We're off, feels good. I'm feeling good. I guess we get some food, then I'm gonna feel really good. And that's that. Well, you know if anything happens. Dried mushrooms are a fabulous things. They last forever. So we can store them for a very long time on the boat and they cook up wonderfully. Way better than canned stuff. Great in soups and stir fries and just about anything. Anyway, I'm a big fan of the dried mushrooms. You can get all different types. And then we're using frozen asparagus, which is like uh, just a step above canned asparagus. <laughs> but beggars can't be choosers, so woohoo! Here we go. silicone baking mat underneath to keep anything from sliding around. Alright, that's looking good. Add our water. Just not great. 